Not Fair, Won't Share by Sue Graves On Monday, Miss Clover had a surprise for everyone. She had made a space station. There were buttons to push, there were levers to pull, there were boots and a helmet to wear, too. Only three children could play at a time, but everyone wanted a turn. Then Miss Clover had a good idea. She put everyone's name in a hat. She pulled out Nora's name first. She pulled out Dan's name second. She pulled out Henry's name third. Miss Clover said they could play first, but they had to take turns and share. Nora put on the boots and the helmet. She pushed all the buttons. She pulled all the levers. She wouldn't let Dan or Henry take turns. She wouldn't let them wear the boots or the helmet. Dan got mad. He said it wasn't fair. He pushed Nora hard. Henry got mad. He said it wasn't fair. He grabbed the helmet. Nora got very, very mad. She said it wasn't fair. She said she didn't want to share. Miss Clover got mad. She sent them out. Nora went to the reading corner. Soon she stopped feeling mad. She wished that she had taken turns playing with Henry and Dan. Dan went to the art corner. Soon he stopped feeling mad. He wished that he had not pushed Nora. Henry went on the computer. Soon he stopped feeling mad. He wished that he had not grabbed the helmet. Miss Clover counted slowly to ten. Soon she stopped feeling mad, too. Nora, Dan, and Henry said, I'm sorry, to Miss Clover and to each other. Miss Clover let them have another turn in the space station. She told them to take turns and share. They all took turns pushing the buttons. They all shared the helmet and the boots. They all took turns pulling the levers. They had lots of fun. And this time, no one got mad at all. Can you tell the story of what happens when these two space creatures find a toy they don't want to share? How do you think they felt when they didn't share the toy? How did they feel at the end? Thanks for listening. We'll see you later. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.